William David Trimble, Baron Trimble, P.C. born 15 October 1944, is a British politician who was the first First Minister of Northern Ireland from 1998 to 2002, and the leader of the Ulster Unionist Party from 1995 to 2005. He was also the Member of Parliament for Upper Ban from 1990 to 2005 and the Member of the Legislative Assembly for Upper Ban from 1998 to 2007. In 2006, he was made a life peer in the House of Lords and a year later left the UUP to join the Conservative Party. Trimble began his career as a professor of law at the Queen's University of Belfast in the 1970s, during which time he began to get involved with the paramilitary-linked vanguard Progressive Unionist Party. He was elected to the Northern Ireland Constitutional Convention in 1975, and joined the UUP in 1978 after the VPUP disbanded. Remaining at Queen's University, he continued his academic career until being elected as the MP for Upper Ban in 1990. In 1995 he was unexpectedly elected as the leader of the UUP. He was instrumental in the negotiations that led to the Good Friday Agreement in 1998, and along with John Hume, won the Nobel Peace Prize that year for his efforts. He was later elected to become the first First Minister of Northern Ireland, although his tenure was turbulent and frequently interrupted by disagreements over the timetable for provisional Irish Republican Army decommissioning. After being defeated at the 2005 general election, Trimble resigned the leadership of the UUP soon afterwards. In June 2006, he accepted a life peerage in the House of Lords, taking the title of Baron Trimble, of Lisnagarvi in the county of Antrim. He did not stand again for the Assembly, which finally reconvened in 2007, instead leaving the UUP to join the Conservative Party. <laughs> Early life and education Trimble was the son of William and Ivy Trimble, lower middle class Presbyterians who lived in Bangor, County Down. He attended Bangor Grammar School 1956 Trimble's paternal grandfather George was a native of County Longford. He studied at Queen's University of Belfast from 1964 to 1968, where he was awarded the McCain Medal for Jurisprudence. He received a first-class honours degree the first at Queen's in three years, becoming a Bachelor of Laws LL.B. <laughs> Early career Academic <laughs> 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 career Trimble qualified as a barrister in 1969. He began that year as a Queen's University of Belfast lecturer, subsequently becoming Assistant Dean of the Law Faculty from 1973 to 75, a senior lecturer in 1977, and head of the Department of Commercial and Property Law from 1981 to 1989. He resigned from the university in 1990 when he was elected to Parliament. In 1983, as he sat in his office at the university, he heard gunshots which turned out to be those of Ira Killers of Edgar Graham, a friend and fellow law professor. He was asked to identify the body. In 1994 he was told by the Royal Ulster Constabulary that he had been targeted for assassination. Topic. Political career Trimble became involved with the right-wing, paramilitary-linked Vanguard Progressive Unionist Party known as Vanguard in the early 1970s. He ran unsuccessfully for the party in the 1973 assembly election for North Down, coming last. In 1974, he was a legal advisor to the Ulster Workers' Council during the successful UWC strike against the Sunningdale Agreement. He was elected to the Northern Ireland Constitutional Convention in 1975 as a Vanguard member for Belfast South, and for a time he served as the party's joint deputy leader, along with the Ulster Defence Association's Glenn Barr. The party had been established by Bill Craig to oppose sharing power with Irish nationalists, and to prevent closer ties with the Republic of Ireland, however Trimble was one of those to back Craig when the party split over Craig's proposal to allow voluntary power sharing with the SDLP. He joined the mainstream Ulster Unionist Party in 1978 after Vanguard disbanded, and was elected one of the four party secretaries. He served as vice chairman of the Lagan Valley Unionist Association from 1983 to 85, and was named chairman in 1985. 
He served as chairman of the UUP Legal Committee from 1989 to 1995 and as honorary secretary of the Ulster Unionist Council in 1990 to 96. He was elected to parliament with 58% of the vote in a by-election in Upper Ban in 1990. He was one of the few British politicians who urged support for the Islamic government of Bosnia and Herzegovina during the civil war in the 1990s. Leader of the Ulster Unionist Party On 8 September 1995, Trimble unexpectedly won election as leader of the UUP, defeating the front-runner John Taylor and three other candidates. Trimble's election as leader came in the aftermath of his role in the Drum Cree conflict, in which he led a controversial 1995 Orange Order Protestant march, amidst nationalist protest, down the predominantly Roman Catholic nationalist Garvegi Road in Portadown, County Armagh. Trimble and Democratic Unionist Party leader Ian Paisley walked hand in hand as the march, banned since 1997, proceeded down the road. Many Irish Catholics viewed it as insensitive, while many Protestants felt that it was a sign that Trimble was defending them. Shortly after the election, Trimble became the first UUP leader in 30 years since Terence O'Neill to meet with the Taisha in Dublin. In 1997, he became the first Unionist leader since the partitioning of Ireland in 1922 to agree to negotiate with Sinn Féin. Later, in the all-party negotiations, he led the UUP delegation and sat at the table with Sinn Féin, though in the eight months of the negotiations he never spoke directly to their leader, Jerry Adams. The talks were successful, culminating in the Belfast Agreement of 10 April 1998, which resulted in power sharing with nationalists. On the 22nd of May 1998, voters in Northern Ireland approved the agreement, with 71% in favour. Trimble was appointed to the Privy Council of the United Kingdom in the 1998 New Year Honours. Topic: <laughs> First Minister of Northern Ireland. Trimble at first opposed the appointment of former U.S. Senator George J. Mitchell as the chairman of multi-party talks, but eventually accepted him. The talks resulted in the Belfast Good Friday Agreement GFA of April 1998. Trimble was subsequently seen as instrumental in getting his party to accept the accord. Trimble was elected on the 25th of June 1998 as a member of the Northern Ireland Assembly for Upper Ban. He was elected first minister of Northern Ireland on the 1st of July 1998. In October 1998, Trimble and John Hume were awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for their efforts to find a peaceful solution to the conflict in Northern Ireland. The Nobel Institute noted, as the leader of the traditionally predominant party in Northern Ireland, David Trimble showed great political courage when, at a critical stage of the process, he advocated solutions which led to the Belfast Good Friday Peace Agreement. Arguments over the extent of provisional Irish Republican Army decommissioning led to repeated disruptions during Trimble's tenure as First Minister. In particular, the office of First Minister was suspended from the 11th of February 2000 to the 30th of May 2000. Trimble resigned as First Minister on 1 July 2001 due to the continuing impasse arising from the IRA's refusal of his demands that it decommission its arms, as per the commitments all parties had signed up to in Section 7 pt. 3 page 25 of the 1998 Good Friday Agreement but he was re-elected on 5 November 2001. The assembly was suspended from the 14th of October 2002 until 2007 due to accusations of an IRA spy ring being operated there, the so-called Stormont Gate affair. In 1998, Tony Blair announced a new judicial inquiry, the Bloody Sunday Inquiry, into the killing of 14 unarmed civil rights marchers in Derry in 1972. A previous investigation, the Widgery Tribunal, into the same event had been discredited. During the debate in the House of Commons, Trimble was one of few dissenting voices. He said, I am sorry to have to say to the Prime Minister that I think that the hope expressed by the Hun member for Foyle Mr. Hume that this will be part of the healing process is likely to be misplaced. Opening old wounds like this is likely to do more harm than good. The basic facts of the situation are known and not open to dispute. Reporting in 2010, the Seville Inquiry confirmed that all of the 14 killings and 13 woundings were unjustified. Peerage 
At the general elections of 2005, Trimble was defeated by the Democratic Unionist Party's David Simpson in his bid for re-election to Parliament in Westminster. The Ulster Unionist Party retained only one seat in Parliament out of 18 in Northern Ireland after the 2005 general election, and Trimble resigned the party leadership on 7 May 2005. On the 11th of April 2006, it was announced that Trimble would take a seat in the House of Lords as a working life peer, as an appointed member of the peerage whose title may not be inherited. On 21 May 2006 it was announced that he had chosen the geographical designation Lisnagarvi, the original name for his adopted home town of Lisburn. Subsequently, on 2 June 2006, he was created Baron Trimble, of Lisnagarvi in the county of Antrim. On 18 December 2006, he announced that he would be standing down from the Northern Ireland Assembly at the next election. Trimble was named an honorary patron of the University Philosophical Society, Trinity College, Dublin. On 17 April 2007, Trimble announced he had decided to join the Conservative Party in order to have greater influence in politics in the United Kingdom. At the same time, however, he stated that he did not intend to campaign against the Ulster Unionist Party, and proposed the idea of a future alliance between the Conservatives and the Ulster Unionists, similar to that which had existed prior to 1974 and the fallout of the Sunningdale Agreement. This idea became reality with the formation of Ulster Conservatives and Unionists, new force in late 2008. It was reported that if the Conservatives won the 2010 general election, Trimble would receive a significant ministerial role, possibly in the cabinet. In the event, however, Trimble was not offered any governmental or front bench position following the formation of the Conservative Liberal Democrat coalition government. In May 2010, Trimble joined the Friends of Israel Initiative, a non-Jewish international project supporting Israel's right to exist. The initiative, started by former Prime Minister of Spain José María Aznar, also included former United States Ambassador to the United Nations John R. Bolton, British historian Andrew Roberts, and former Peruvian President Alejandro Toledo. On 29 January 2013, Trimble and Asnar Co. wrote an article in The Times condemning Hezbollah and calling on European governments to list it as a terrorist organisation. In 2016, Trimble supported the Leave side in the UK referendum on EU membership. He said that if he had ever had any doubts about the issue, his eight years on the EU select committees in the House of Lords, which scrutinise the EU's operations, had convinced him of the need to cut ties with Brussels. He cited a study which found that economic growth in the UK reduced after the decision to enter the common market, and reduced further when the UK went into the single market. Turkle Commission of Inquiry On 14 June 2010, Trimble was appointed as an observer to the Israeli Special Independent Public Turkle Commission of Inquiry into the Gaza Flotilla raid. The commission investigated whether Israel's actions in preventing the arrival of ships in Gaza were in accordance with international law. It focused among other things on the security considerations for imposing a naval blockade on the Gaza Strip and the conformity of the naval blockade with the rules of international law, the conformity of the actions during the raid to principles of international law, and the actions taken by those who organized and participated in the flotilla, and their identities. On the commission were former Israeli Supreme Court Justice, Jacob Turkel, and former Technion University President, Amos Horov, as well two other members added in July 2010. Bar Ilan University Professor of International Law Shabtai Rosen also served on the commission from its establishment until his death on 21 September 2010. In addition, the commission had two foreign observers, Trimble and former head of the Canadian military's judiciary, Judge Advocate General, Ken Watkin, who took part in hearings and discussions, but did not vote on the final conclusions. The panel, in January 2011, concluded both Israel's naval blockade of Gaza and the interception of the flotilla were found to be legally pursuant to the rules of international law. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Personal life. Trimble's first marriage to Heather McComb in August 1968 ended in divorce in 1976. There were no children from his first marriage. Trimble married a former student, Daphne Elizabeth Nayor, in August 1978. They have two sons and two daughters Richard, Victoria, Nicholas, and Sarah. 
Lady Trimble served as a member of the Equality Commission for Northern Ireland, and later the Northern Ireland Human Rights Commission, before standing unsuccessfully in the UK parliamentary election of May 2010 for the UCUNF. His son Nicholas is active within the Ulster Unionist Party. In 2016 Nicholas Trimble was co-opted to replace Alexander Redpath as a councillor representing Downshire West on Lisburn and Castlereagh City Council. Selected works Books To Raise Up a New Northern Ireland, Articles and Speeches 1998-2000, David Trimble, The Belfast Press, 2001 Articles The Belfast Agreement David Trimble, 22 Fordham International Law Journal 1145, 1998–99 See also List of Northern Ireland members of the House of Lords List of Northern Ireland members of the Privy Council Notes and references Topic. External links David Trimble's official website profile at Parliament of the United Kingdom Contributions in Parliament at Hansard 1803-2005 Current session contributions in Parliament at Hansard Voting record at publicwhip.org Record in Parliament at theyworkforyou.com Profile at BBC News Democracy Live Articles authored at Journalisted Transforming Unionism, David Trimble and the Garrel Election 2005, Irish Academic Press, 2005, ISBN 0-7165-3389-8 David Trimble, The Price of Peace, Frank Miller, Liffey Press, 2004, ISBN 1-904148-60-3 Himself Alone, David Trimble and the Ordeal of Unionism, Dean Godson, HarperCollins, 2004, ISBN 0-00-257098-X Trimble, Henry MacDonald, Bloomsbury Publishing plc, 2001, ISBN 0-7475-5315-7 Northern Ireland Assembly Bio Guardian Politics Ask Aristotle, David Trimble They work for you. Com, David Trimble MP Nobel Peace Prize for 1998 Lecture by David Trimble BBC News, The Search for Peace, David Trimble Maiden Speech, House of Commons 23 May 1990 Other Irish Nobel Winners Appearances on C-SPAN